So it's no secret that I f***ing hate Eververse. I've made a few videos outlining how she's not only stealing up our endgame content, but that she's just getting worse and worse over time. So today is Tuesday, the 30th of July, which means that this is the last event for a season of Opulence, which is Solstice of Heroes. This still gives me PTSD from last year's Solstice of Heroes when we had to do the missions, fucking light. Oh my god, dude, like, oh, it was so fucking horrible. Thankfully, though, this season's a bit different with most of, if not all, the rewards being behind Eververse. This isn't at all surprising considering this is how it was back then. But what is different is now that you, when you go to the Eververse, you'll notice that Eververse doesn't have an engram for this event. Usually on events, Eververse would at least give you a free box with the event's loot table in it, like the Solstice engram from last year. But this event gives you a best of year one engram. When and that's kind of fucking lame considering either most of us either already have everything from that from just playing the game or you have it from playing year one. So either way, having this event's rewards locked to either pay us ten eight dollars or pay up to five thousand bright dust for one armor glow with all three armor glows costing either twenty four dollars or fifteen hundred bright dust. That's that's a little fucking sketch, bro. Like that's some sus shit right there. So that's just one example too. So we're gonna go through some of the, if not all of them actually. So emotes are eight dollars to ten dollars each. Ghosts are six dollars. Ships and sparrows are eight, are eight dollars. And everything in bright this department are above like two thousand, except the ghost projections, which are like fifteen hundred. I honestly think this is probably the worst event I've ever seen <laughs> in Destiny 2. I say that laughing because it's just, it, it's like, wow, like it's kind of mind boggling. None of the others come to mind, you know, you could like the others, you could still earn items from Eververse from the engrams, the, the event engrams. But now they even took that off, which is a damn shame since I really wanted to like it because whatever my feelings are about last year's event. I still enjoyed last year's Solstice of Heroes. I would do it all over again, but this time probably actually masterwork the armor. So with this event, we have a new area called the European uh, Aerial Zone. It's pretty cool. So it's, it's pretty awesome. It does the job. I'm not at all like bothered by it. I think if the planets we got at launch of Destiny 2 Vanilla were like, like that, but the size of those planets then it would have been a way better experience, but that's just a random thought I had when I was playing playing it with my clanmate. Like I said, I really don't mind the EAZ. Uh, I think it does the job. I don't find myself falling asleep like I did for the for that one event in the Infinite Forest, both times. Like I, I don't mind it. It's cool, I guess. The quest steps are fine. I don't see anything outlandish. I think the only one people will have issues with is the complete shattered throne with two or fewer. I think that's the only one. But other than that, these are all pretty easy easy and tame. More tamer than last year, so I think it's fine. Another issue I have with this event, which is still really confuses me, is that although it is dope that Solstice of Heroes armor is dropping as armor 2.0, what has me kind of annoyed is that why is it dropping when the new DLC comes out? I thought we were gonna have it in our hands like right now, like before the DLC came out. Like, I, I, I just don't understand. Like, this is something that bugs me more than it should, I do admit, but it's so much more than that. It's like, you're telling me you're gonna give me this right now or in the DLC when I'm trying to get more armor for that DLC. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm just confused by it. There's a few other things that bug, bug me too, like the Solstice packages only give you like world material, legendary and blue gear. And I think that's it. Some other stuff too, but like considering we have the AFK farm, spider, literally just playing the game in the planets or like whatever, gives you material. So for me this box is a legit waste of my fucking time. And the only reason I'm doing it is because some quest steps require you to open a few. 
honestly, what bugs me the most is that everything is behind Eververse. Like, at least last year's event, we had a Ghost Sparrow ship that weren't connected to the Eververse. We had Solstice Engram, where if we got lucky, we'd get, we could get something. But now, I have to put down mad amounts of money to get some of these. And I can already tell people would just tell me, Well, Tony, you could earn best of year one Engrams and dismantle everything to get more Bright Dust. Or just do Eververse bounties. Which are not bad points. Like, they're really not. Like, that's actually, yeah, that's how you earn Bright Dust for sure. But when you consider that most of the time I get either a legendary ghost or a legendary sparrow with three shaders, if I dismantle everything like that, it comes up to like 130 bright dust. But if I do get an exotic, that's like 530 bright dust I could get. Like that's cool. That's awesome. Like in theory, that's cool. Like, oh my God, like 130 br uh, bright dust from just dismantling or 530 if you're lucky. That's awesome. Until you realize that there's some stuff in this event that's up to like 5,000 bright dust, bro, each. And the lowest is like 1,500 bright dust, and that's for a fucking ghost projection. What about what about the Eververse bounties? Well, you could do as much as you want. Essentially, you could just do burn through a day or two of just doing that shit all day, and you could gain a good amount. Eververse bounties are split between t uh, three tiers. Tier 1 award 20 bright dust. Tier 2 awards 70 Bright Dust, and Tier 3 awards uh, 130 Bright Dust. And if you do them all, when then you'll get like, what, 370 Bright Dust? But usually, the Tier 3s take too long for me to justify, to justify it. So I usually just do two Tier 2s, and then maybe some Tier 1s if uh, they meld well with Tier 2. The problem with Eververse Bounties is that you need to get the Eververse bounty notes that drop from Ingrams. Thankfully, I forgot that these bounties existed, so I had a stash of these. But I burned through them pretty quick. Like, now I'm only at 52 notes. And after that, what, just get lucky in my Ingrams? I know they're changing how we get Bright Dust in Shadowkeep, but, like, this shit is fucking wild that we got to this point where we can't even get anything from this season. No opulent engram of or fucking event engram. Honestly, like I'm gonna go off script here because it, I wrote this script today and I'm still kind of feeling it. Like it's just wild that like I've been playing this game for shit for a while, and it's just it hasn't gotten like oh my god like it just got worse and worse. It's like gotten slowly worse. Like and that's that's the crazy part is that like. They slowly started to like drip in shit that people didn't like. And slow, like Eververse, when Eververse came out, I remember the backlash. People were fucking angry. People were, oh my god. Like, people were losing their shit. But now it's like, oh, whatever. Like, it, that's like, they got desensitized. And like, I'm still like angry. Like, I don't want this shit in my game. I don't want it. But it's just wild that people like. I see people with this shade, like with the with the five thousand bright dust uh, armor glow, and I'm just like, wow, like you either had five thousand, which is crazy, or you just burn eight dollars on something that's gonna become irrelevant. And like, I know, oh, this armor is gonna be two point oh. Are you really gonna be wearing this armor in two point oh? Considering like it's gonna be this DLC is gonna be hive themed, like, bro. If it's hive themed, it, we're probably gonna get some cool armor. Like, especially if they actually do hive like related armor. But it's just wild to me that people are like, because I'm probably gonna like, I was not expecting to become a uh, a Destiny YouTuber. I'm I wasn't. I'm probably gonna become a, a Destiny YouTuber. I hope I don't. I hope I'm just like, oh, he does everything, but he does a lot of Destiny too. But I. It's just wild that, like, I, I know for sure people are going to be like, Oh, yeah, Fix Tony, that dude is really negative when it comes to Destiny 2. And it's like, I'm negative because I'm so critical about Destiny 2. Like, I'm just kind of tired of, like, all the bullshit that I've been seeing for the past years. And people are, like, slowly just kind of getting over it. So, so those, are my, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to have a how to, get, how to upgrade your armor video about lord of wolves because i got a comment and i was like yo comment look at that i'm almost a youtuber so <laughs> i'm gonna do that 
probably on Friday because tomorrow's Thursday. So I'll probably post it on th on Friday. I gotta write the script right now. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below and I will see you guys later.